what is within you which is causing this resistance to a particular food substance. It's the most insane way to consume, it's supposed to be modern and scientific. I don't know what's scientific about it. There are many practices which could change the dynamics of the body in a way that you will not believe. It's done that to millions of people. Are food allergies natural or do people acquire them? Are there practices that one can do to overcome food allergies? See, allergies manifest in many ways, but one of the most common form of allergy is either in the form of rashes on the skin, the skin or the respiratory organs, which get the maximum impact. Either it flares up on the skin or it leads to some kind of inflammation in the respiratory tracts and breathing becomes difficult. So we need to understand this. These are food allergies. If you're allergic to some other, you know, some chemical, something else, that's a different thing. But these are food allergies. That means I can consume it, you cannot consume it, you can consume it, somebody else cannot consume it. That's the… that's what we're talking about. Certain allergies we know have gone from parents to children, but it's rare. But certain allergies clearly are tracked from parents have the same allergy, children have the same allergy. So these allergies are essentially body's reaction to something in that substance. These days we are identifying that and they are doing… going through an elaborate allergy… T those allergy tests are insane, isn't it? It's quite crazy to go about like that. I know when you're in trouble, you have to do all the crazy things. <laughs> That's a different thing. So how to handle the allergy? See, the, the main thing is body is resisting something, okay? In yoga, we are looking at what is it within you which doesn't like this. See, the difference between allopathic system and this is, allopathic system is looking at what is the chemical in the food which is causing allergy. Here we are looking at what is within you which is causing this resistance to a particular food substance. Because it's a food, it's not poison. There are many practices. Shambhavi itself has relieved many people of various levels of allergies, though it's not focused in that direction. If you want to focus in that direction, Shakti Chalana Kriya is a great way to go towards it. Easily, in a matter of six months to nine months, we can work an allergy out. A very powerful way of doing Kapalabhati can solve, I would say, sixty percent of the problems. Sixty percent of allergy in the world you can remove if you teach a proper system of Kapalabhati. Kapalabhati means your energy should heat Kapala. Kapala means this part of the skull. Your energy should hit the ceiling. If you do Kapalabhati, the top of the head alone should sweat, you understand? If you do Kapalabhati, this alone, sweat should pour out of it, okay? That means you're doing proper Kapalabhati. If you do Kapalabhati like that, I would say sixty, seventy percent of your allergy should definitely go, otherwise it can be looked at specifically. How about children who are allergic? Allergy to the parents? That's very normal <laughs> <laughs> If children below seven, eight years of age have allergies, which I feel is very common in America and uh, it's becoming… it's becoming quite common in India also. If you want to beat allergies, one thing is drop milk from the child's diet. It may not be milk allergy, but it is bringing that into your system in various ways. Because you are stealing another animal's milk and drinking it up, there's a price to it. Only maximum till they are two and a half to three years of age, you can give them milk. After that, they don't need cow's milk at all. And you're not even drinking cow's milk, you don't know what kind of milk you're drinking because it's ten million animals, milk all mixed up and you're drinking. It's just insane. It's the most insane way to consume, it's supposed to be modern and scientific. I don't know what's scientific about it. You drink a million cow's milk mixed up, buffalo milk, uh, cow, every damn thing and you drink it, have you got any sense in your head, I'm asking? When the child needs milk, mother's milk is there, once that stage is over, there's no need for milk. <laughs> if you bring sufficient lentils, legumes, nuts, 
into the child's life early, you will see they will grow up super healthy, you understand? Except for a couple of injuries, I don't remember whenever I took my daughter to a doctor. I don't remember, ever. Only a couple of injuries she had, with that I remember I went to the doctors. Otherwise, I never ever took her to doctor because food was just managed, that's all. And at an early age, if they develop a certain affinity towards fruits and this and that, they'll grow up with that and they, they won't like all hodgepodge stuff. So if allergies have to go for children, one thing is milk, another thing is meat products. If they're very badly allergic, if they're mildly allergic, it's okay. If they're badly allergic, take away the meat products, put them in lots of vegetables, fresh fruits and things, system will adjust itself. If they can start a yogic practice as early as possible, something as simple as a Surya Kriya or a Surya Namaskar, it could change the dynamics of the body very, very… in a way that you won't believe understand? In a way that you will not believe, a simple practice what it can do. It's done that to me. It's done that to millions of people that I have seen around me.